Hello, hello, hello. Hi, this is Christine and I just want to talk to you today about how important it is to look at building resilience in our business because we never know what's around the corner. We never know what we're going to be hit with or faced which could cause us great difficulty and I'm doing this video today to talk about how you can build resilience and I'll go straight into it. So hi, I'm Christine. I've got over 25 years experience in healthcare business as well as 10 years of coaching healthcare business entrepreneurs. So in today's video, following on from our last discussion on overcoming recession by leveraging virtual assistance, I want to talk to you about something vital, which is you preventing business failure. I've been through the trenches and one of my very first videos, I talk about this as well. Surviving the 2008 recession taught me some tough lessons, but it's not what I've learned from the experience that's kept me from standing here strong today, okay? This really is important for me to be able to share this with you because I want you to be able to be strong in your business and no matter what hits you, that you're able to come back even stronger, that you face that mountain and you come back even stronger. So Warren Buffett, he once said that recessions are inevitable, right? They're going to happen. But how you respond to it, that makes all the difference. So with the looming uncertainty that's ahead of us of 2025, his words rang true to me. It really came into my, into my spirit. Back in 2008, I was caught off guard by the recession and I don't want that to happen to you. Something that could have been avoided if I knew what I know now using a simple strategy of outsourcing and virtual assistance. Hiring the right support could have made the world a difference for me. And I want this for you. So let's take Edison, for example, who famously invented the electric light bulb after many failed attempts. He didn't see them as failures, just as different ways not to do it. I have many arrows in my back, but each one has made me stronger and smarter in business. Like Edison, I've learned from my mistakes and I'm here to help you avoid them. That's my calling. So it's a critical for you to have a continuity crisis plan. If you're a multiple seven figure business owner, please hear this as you need to do this now, okay? If you're just starting out or if you're in the middle, then great, wonderful, you need to do that. But if you are a multiple seven figure business owner, I really am talking to you that you need to make sure that you do have a crisis continuity plan. So, Here's a question. Have you done a staff audit? Have you done one recently? Do your team members deliver real value to your bottom line in your organization? Could some of those roles be automated or outsourced? Ask yourself if you really need that physical office space or if it is time to downsize because if you're using outsourced uh, virtual assistants, for example, then you can look at whether you can out you can downsize your office to move to a smaller office location, for example, which is going to put money in your pocket as well as outsourcing with virtual assistants. That's going to put money in your pocket. You won't have to be paying national insurance. You won't have to be paying holiday pay. You won't have to be paying pensions so much anyway. You won't have to be 
paying for sick pay. You won't have to be paying for the office space that they're in. There's so many things that you really can look at in terms of shaving and making money for your organization. Do you really need to have what you've got currently? So we have a virtual assistance agency, for example. So this is where hiring virtual assistants can save you money and resources without sacrificing on quality. Now, what I'd love for you to do is to take this seriously and think about the savings that you could make by streamlining your operations and investing that back into your business. Whether it's to cover tax bills, you may have a tax bill coming up or maybe you're struggling to pay for things Start taking action now before it gets out of control. Don't do what I did, like, you know, the captain of a ship, you know, let it sink, for example, and you sink with everything. You don't want that. You want to be able to focus on growing your business. But as you're going along, as the years go on, you've got to adapt, you've got to diversify so that you can keep more of the profit for you or for your team members, or for the business, or put it in to pay for a tax bill. It really is important that you think about this right now, directors, because you never know what you're going to be hit with. And, you know, we don't know the future. Only God knows this, for example. So, whether it's to cover your taxes, give yourself a well-deserved rise, you as care providers, you deserve a pay rise. You always pay yourself last. You pay everyone else first and you pay yourself last. And you're leaving yourself to the point where you're actually, it's like you're on the plane, okay? You hear the pilot say to you, put your mask on first and then you can help other people. But what are you doing currently at the moment? You're not putting your mask on. You're helping everyone else. And then you then become burnt out. I became burnt out. You become burnt out and then you can't help anybody. As well as yourself, as well as your family members. This isn't the reason why you went into this in the first place. You went into this because you wanted to give to the community. You wanted to give quality care. But also you wanted to enjoy some time for you and your loved ones without having to be you know ruled by a clock or by a boss for example and I see that in you because I've been there myself so what I'd love for you to do is I'd love for you to book a free staff audit with me so give us a call today or just book there's a link here just book and I will gladly speak with you and I can talk to you about your continuity plan, building a continuity crisis plan. This is something that's going to help you when you're applying for contracts as well. Because we all know that crises do happen. It's not like they don't happen. But what we've got to know is how we're going to best deal with it. And the best way to deal with it is not by going out and grabbing and getting these loans. I see a lot of people that have been getting loans left, right and center. Whereas if you had a crisis plan, for example, because not everyone failed in the um, pandemic, for example, but if you create a crisis plan, then you've got your nest egg there, money in the business bank account to pay off for wages to pay off for tax bills for example directors we've really got to look at this crisis plan now there's a continuity plan which is totally different from a crisis plan a recession continuity plan is what you need to have in place to ensure that your business thrives and even join the toughest times so I wanted to share this with you today. Let's look at being true leaders. Let's look at being, working smarter and not harder as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, 
and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips on building a resilient, successful healthcare business. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed this short discussion about continuity plan. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Take care, stay blessed, have a good day. Thank you. Goodbye.